why aren't as many people talking about Grok 3 as they did with DeepSeek? So Grok 3, the new AI model from Elon Musk's XAI, has just dropped. By most accounts, it's pretty damn good. But people aren't talking about it in the mainstream media and outside of our AI spheres in the same way that they were talking about DeepSeek when it released about a month ago. I kid you not, I was giving a talk at a conference in Vegas the week that DeepSeek came out. And as I was arriving at this talk at 6 a.m. in the morning, super early, the only people there were parking attendants. And the parking attendants were talking about DeepSeek and talking about the number of GPUs it was trained on. Like, the news broke out of our normal spheres and made it into the mainstream in a way that Grok 3, despite being a better model, has not. Very few people are talking about Grok 3 compared to something like ChatGPT or DeepSeek. Now, the conspiracy theorists might say that this is because it is a win for Musk. He put together a model, and they've been going for two years, XAI roughly, and they've come out with a frontier level model that can compete with ChatGPT, it can compete with DeepSeek, Claude, Gemini, and all of the top models out there. Some people might say that the mainstream media don't necessarily want to report on that because they don't want to give Musk a W. I think that's a little bit conspiratorial, and the truth of the matter is probably closer to the fact that it's harder to get an exciting narrative out of it. When DeepSeek launched, we had a stock market crash with companies like NVIDIA taking a huge tanking, and we had the narrative that China had produced something that could outstrip the American models, and it had come from absolutely nowhere. There's a really strong narrative hook there where you have China versus the US, rather than just billionaires within the US squabbling between their different models like OpenAI and XAI are right now. There's also the more subtle narrative, and I don't think this is what people were thinking about necessarily, but DeepSeek used much fewer GPUs to train their model, whereas Grok, on the other hand, is famously, it's used the most GPUs, it's used 200,000 GPUs in order to get their model ready. And part of the reason the NVIDIA stock crashed was because the DeepSeek model showed that you didn't necessarily need more power. More power was not enough, you didn't just brute force your way through it. Whereas in a way, Grok has shown us that, yeah, if you have enough power, you can brute force your way through it. So it's a bit of a narrative flip compared to DeepSeek. I think that specific arguments about GPUs are probably a bit subtle, though, and that's not necessarily why we're seeing the difference in the coverage. I think the true reason is that we expected a decent model and we got a decent model. There was very little invariance between expectations and reality. We get new models every single month and I think people start to get tired of it eventually. DeepSeek was enough to break through because it was a Chinese model rather than an American model. But here's the thing, the takeaway from all of this. What we've seen is a new model come from basically nowhere in two years and become a frontier level contender. That's exciting. That's probably the exciting part of this news here. Whether or not you're dropping DeepSeek, you're dropping ChatGPT, you're dropping Claude to use Grok3 is kind of unimportant. The fact of the matter is that we now have a new competitor in the market and that's good for everybody. Everyone's going to be competing more and fighting more to increase the power of their models. And let's not forget that the reason people are deploying these models is not to make subscriptions off people like you and I. That is not the end game here. So when people talk about these AI models losing money, that's unimportant. What is going on here is all of these companies are racing to AGI and then to ASI, artificial super intelligence. The fact that they are making revenue from our subscriptions, from the API usage, yeah, sure, that helps. Mainly to helps them to raise more money so that they can then race to AGI. This is not about building a consumer-facing company that is built on $20 a month subscriptions. That is not the plan here. So the entrance of Grok into the arena just adds more fire to that particular competition. And Grok is showing a new way to do that, which is just pure brute force by getting as many GPUs as possible, training and pushing through using computational power which is a very different way to how DeepSeek are doing it, which is using less GPUs, but more intelligent algorithms. Who's following the best approach? We don't know yet, but over the next couple of years, we surely will.